Hello, my name is Matthew Jaron. Uh, I'm museum curator at the University of Dundee and also coordinator of the Public Art Dundee project. And welcome to another of my virtual public art walks where we'll be taking you around uh, some of the interesting public art and design features of different parts of Dundee uh, from the comfort of your own home. And this time we're in Broughty Ferry and we're going to start here outside the library. And a few things here to note, um, although most of them we can't actually see on Google Street View. Uh, the one that we can is just actually over on the wall here. So if we just zoom in, uh, you can kind of just <laughs> make out here uh, this little piece. And I'll just cut to a better photo of this. This is the nice little scarf mosaic. Um, and this was created in, uh, I think, about 2002 by Inga Muller and the Brotty Ferry Environment Project. And we'll be coming back to various other examples of work that um, that, that project has, has created for Dundee later on. Now, we can't really see it, but just hiding in here, in this little nice garden area, there's a fantastic sculpture by David Anand uh, called Cat's Poem Disturbed from 1992. Um, and this old gentleman who's actually based on, on the artist's uh, grandfather uh, is reading a book with various cat poems in it and this little cat comes along to uh, to interrupt him. And that piece was funded by the Brody Ferry Art Society. And the other thing to note is that um, inside the library, if you just head straight in the door there, uh, there's quite a splendid uh, jungle mural that greets you uh, by Ian Campbell. Uh, so worth checking that out as well. Right, now, um, well, we're going to head in that direction, but first of all, I just want to briefly detour up here and just show you um, this mural here, um, just in the car park here. It's rather faded now, um, but we have this nice piece that was done by um, pupils at Grove Academy. Uh, to do with bees. So it says, uh, if bees were extinct, just think where we would be. Uh, there is a plan to try and update this with a new mural, um, but um, I don't know the details of that yet. I'm not sure if it's going to happen, so we'll hold off and find out about that later. Right, okay, we're now going to head uh, along Queen Street. And this is going to take some time, so I'll just speed us up. Now, our next stop is this uh, church that's here on the right. Um, this is the uh, now called the Brotty Ferry New Kirk, originally the East Church. Um, a little bit further along, get a better look here. Oh, there's a tree in the way. Well, anyway, um, actually, let's see if we can go down here. <laughs> there's still some trees in the way. Um, well, there's some nice carved heads. Uh, outside this church, and I'll cut to some um, some photos of those. Um, the church was built in 1865, uh, designed by architect Andrew Hyton. Um, as with so many buildings like this, we don't know who did the actual carvings, unfortunately. It just hasn't been recorded. Right, OK, what we're going to do is we're going to carry on along... Uh, Monifeath Road. I always need to end up driving on the wrong side of the road when I do this. Well, that's better. Um, okay, now we're just going to head down here. So we're just coming alongside Orker Park now. And just here, see if we can, oh, go past it. No, I'll go back. Um, just here we have this rather nice piece um, just at the entrance, uh, a nice mosaic piece here. Let's see how well we can see it. There we go. Um, and this is another piece created by the Brody Ferry Environment Project. Um, this one in, I think, 2008. And it was actually just restored by uh, the artist Teresa Lynn in 2018. 
um, so it's looking much more splendid than it, uh, it did when this picture was taken, when as you can see there's a lot of bits missing. Right, okay, we're going to carry on down Panmuir Street now. And of course it's not going to let me in here, so I'm just going to, oh, I wonder if it is. Oh, it is, look at that, clever. <laughs> um, right, let's head along Castle Street. Okay, so here we are at the bottom of Brook Street and we have this rather splendid set of gates here. Um, just on the entrance to these houses. Um, I don't actually know who designed these, so if anyone knows, do let me know. It would be very useful to know that. Uh, but it's got a nice sort of uh, Dundee and Brotty Ferry skyline there. And of course these wonderful dolphins here as well. Okay, right, now we're going to head along the Esplanade. Now, needless to say, it's not going to let me head in here, but um, I will cut some photos of the various pieces in Castle Green. So first of all, in the play park, we have this wonderful uh, kind of sculpture slash mosaic slash metalwork piece, um, which is another one by the Brodie Fair Environment Project, uh, this time working with uh, Joanne Moody of Little Ironies. Uh, so they, uh, the project created the, um, the various mosaic pieces and then uh, Joanne made the little metal inserts. Um, so this was done in 2005 to 6, and it's based on a Japanese haiku, uh, the surface of the water mirrors many things. Uh, and also there's lots of little wonderful fish details on the mosaic, and those are actually picked up all along the ground. There's various other uh, little um, elements on the ground there that I can show you as well. And then in one of the buildings uh, just further over, uh, there's a new piece that just appeared um, last year by a chap called Barry Robertson uh, as part of a, an ongoing project called Outdoors Type. He's been creating a series of, of text-based murals uh, like this one. Okay, so we're now going to cut to the other side of the play park here and uh, we're going to head down towards the castle. And again, I'm not going to be able to uh, actually go along here, but we can see the piece, uh, the next piece that we're going to, right along at the end of the pier. If I just zoom in here, you can see it uh, here. Uh, so this is called Wind Dial by Adrian McStay. Um, this is another one that was funded by the Body Fairy Art Society, um, and it's like a sundial for the wind. Uh, and it was made at the uh, Rathal Byers Forge by P. Johnson Company, who also did a lot of the wonderful uh, decorative gates that you'll see in the city centre as well. Uh, it's also worth noting while we're here that if we move over to the other uh, pier here, um, there are some quite nice uh, decorative elements. Just well, you can't really see it because it's just behind this building, but there's a nice little tower with various sort of pebble mosaic design in the ground, and that was designed by John Gray, the City Council Public Art Officer. Okay, let's head back into town. We'll just head along Beach Crescent. Of course, we're just going past the uh, the nursing home that was once the Orca Gallery. Uh, sadly, no more. Okay, we're just going to turn up Grey Street. Oh. 
Okay, so here we are on the corner of Grey Street and Brook Street. And just want to draw your attention to uh, the Royal Arch Bar, uh, because in the windows here are some rather splendid stained glass panels, which actually you can see quite nicely in this photograph. Let's just zoom in there. Um, and let's just if we can go along and see the other ones here. Yeah, those are rather good views. There we go. Um, now these were done in 1988 by um, a husband and wife team from Aberdeen who did quite a lot of stained glass in the area. Um, um, fortunately, they were they were killed in a car crash, and I've been trying to find out their names, and and nobody seems to be able to remember. Uh, every time I come across this, someone says, "Oh yeah, that was that husband and wife team that were killed in the car crash," but nobody ever remembers their names. So if anyone knows their names, please let me know, because it's really frustrating. Right? You'd think this would be easy to find out, but I've I've not actually been able to do so as yet. Uh, right. Okay. We're gonna head. Uh, we're gonna head up that no entry sign. Uh, up uh, Brook Street. It's <laughs> going completely the wrong way here. Don't do this at home, kids. <laughs> I've got this onslaught of traffic against me here. The strange thing is, it's always the same cars. Um, oops. Oh, gosh, zigzagging all over the place here. Now, we're just going to go up this wee lane here. Oh, no, that's interesting. So this was actually taken at the time that this was first being laid out. Gosh, well, since this was done, this was 2016, uh, a whole new garden area has been created here. But you can see the, uh, the mural on the wall here. Uh, this is called the Y Garden. We're at the back now of uh, the YMCA in Broughty Ferry. And um, this is a mural that was created as a community project uh, with pupils from Grove Academy working with the artist Pammy Bennett. Uh, and it was made in 2016. So this is, I think it's literally just been painted. And they're still just laying out the new garden area, which is now um, quite significant. So that's really interesting to be able to see that. Hmm. Right, so let's head back down and we're now going to head across the road down onto Brown Street and just head down to Long Lane here. So we're now going to go along Long Lane and then we get to this rather wonderful piece here. This is definitely one of the strangest pieces of public art um, in Tanti, but it's just wonderful. Uh, so this is... Um, uh, a shop called Party Time, and uh, in, I think around 2017 they added this fantastic mural by an artist called Bo Miles, uh, and it's just great. How often do you see frogs on balloons? Right, now let's head further along Long Lane. In fact, we're going to go right along to the very end of Long Lane, and it's a very long lane. And again, we have another church coming up on the left here. And I'm just going to turn around so that we can see the front of it here. Right. So this is um, Our Lady of Good Counsel, a Roman Catholic Church, and uh, dates from 1904. And just want to point out the nice um, sculpture of um, uh, Mary with the, the baby Jesus there. Don't know anything about who did it unfortunately or when. Presumably it was done at the time the church was built but we just don't know. Okay I'm gonna head up here and then we'll just go along Dandy Road here. And cross over the railway and onto the main road. And we have another church 
coming up here. This is a really splendid piece of architecture, this. Uh, this is Luke's church, which was designed by the architect Hippolyte Blanc in 1884. Uh, quite a, a progressive design, I think. It really looks like a much more modern building. Uh, but anyway, as you might be able to see if I zoom in, it's got a number of quite splendid little gargoyles on it. Um, if you can see the other ones. Oh, there, and there's various other ones around the building as well. I'll cut some better photos of some of those. Yeah, it's uh, it's a really nice design actually. Now, if we just head to the garden at the back here, there's a nice little garden of rest area that was laid out in 1997, uh, which has some nice uh, little mosaic pieces as well. I don't know anything about who actually made those. Okay, so now we're going to head back into um, the centre of Brotty Ferry. Right, so we're just going to head up Church Street here. And here we come to uh, the Eastern Primary School. And as luck would have it, uh, the gates are actually open, so I'm not going to be able to show you a very good shot from here, but I'll cut to some better images. So these very splendid gates were done uh, in 2011 by the artists Louise Scullion and Louise Ritchie working with pupils from the primary school. And it's covered in lots of little details of little designs that the that pupils came up with. Uh, it's really nice, really nice, good fun piece. Okay, so we're just going to head back to where we started. Uh, so we're just going to go along Camperdown Street. And then head down Fort Street. Right, and here we are back at the library where we started. So, I uh, hope you found that whistle stop tour interesting. Uh, there'll be other public art tours like this to come, so keep an eye out. And thanks very much for listening. Bye for now.